Beale Street is the most famous street in Memphis, and it's the soul of old Memphis. From the moment you set foot on the cobblestones, you know there's something special here. The street was created in 1841 and had its peak in the 1920s. Since that time, no other Memphis landmark has held such mystique. In the 1860s, many black traveling musicians began performing on Beale Street. It soon became a mecca for African Americans from all over the South. By the end of the 1800s, Robert Church, a freed slave and the first black Southern millionaire, had become interested in Beale Street. He created Church Park at the corner of 4th and Beale, as well as a large recreational cultural center and a first-class hotel for blacks. In the early 1900s, Beale Street was full of shops, restaurants, and clubs. But now, many of them were owned by African Americans. The setting was complete for creating a unique and new sound in music. Because many of the musicians were poor and couldn't afford traditional instruments, they improvised using household items such as washboards, kazoos, and jew harps. But the most unique instrument was the jug. Blowing into various sized jugs would create a deep, hollow sound similar to a bass guitar. And there were popular jug bands all over Bill Street. By the 1920s, Bill was prosperous, and the area took on a carnival-like atmosphere. It was full of thriving nightclubs, theaters, restaurants, stores, pawn shops, and hot music. Every evening on Beal, expensively dressed patrons mingled with those in overhauls. The time was right for new sounds and music, and Beale Street was full of music. Beale Street was a bustling street, and music could be heard in the nightclubs and in the churches. This was the atmosphere that gave birth to the blues. Music filled the air both night and day at the turn of the century. Memphis and Bill Street became a mecca for young musicians who flocked by the thousands to Bill Street to either learn the blues or to be discovered. While some musicians achieved fame, many more never did. The blues and the gospel spirituals were rooted in the cotton fields of America and they incorporated the harmonies and the rhythms of Africa. That, combined with the music of the church, helped form a completely American form of music. W.C. Handy wrote the Memphis Blues and the St. Louis Blues. This created a revolution in music that resulted in the first uniquely American music style. Handy and his band played at Bill Street's famous Pee Wee Salon, other great blues men followed in handy steps, such as Muddy Waters, Ferry Lewis, Albert King, Alberta Hunter, Bobby Blue Bland, Memphis Minnie, and by the 40s, Riley Blues Boy King, whose stage name would become known as B.B. King. By the 1960s, Bill Street had become very run down and many stores closed. In spite of being recognized by the National Register of Historic Places, Bill Street became a virtual ghost town. Nearly every building was boarded up. By the 1970s, the city of Memphis bought nearly all of the properties along the three blocks of Bill Street. And the Bill Street Management Corporation was formed with the charge of creating an entertainment district. And in 1977, the Congress of America officially declared Bill Street as the home of the blues. As Bill Street slowly came back to life, the shops and the restaurants came back. And now today, Bill Street is packed with shops and restaurants. The blues still live here. In fact, they are played 24 hours a day in the streets. Let's take a moment and take a trip down Bill Street today.
Thank mm -hmm. you.